Hi, I'm Sarah Squire with Adam Smith Works, and this is the Smith Questionnaire. Hi, how are you, dear? My name is McCluskey, Deirdre McCluskey. I'm an emerita professor uh, hiding out in Indiana, in Bloomington, Indiana, for the duration. All right, thank you very much for taking a couple of minutes to uh, do our Smith Questionnaire today. Certainly. Ready to go? I'm ready. All right, question number one. Would you rather be loved or be lovely? I would rather be lovable. Um, and I, I would rather love than be loved. So I'm sorry to be so complicated. But that's You're allowed to be complicated. It's our prerogative. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wealth of nations or theory of moral sentiments? Theory of moral sentiments by a mile. Um, I know that you are a dog fan, and you I have met it. my dog as well. I love dogs. Um, and dogs think, love us, by the way. Very absolutely. Important. So if Adam Smith had a dog, what kind of dog do you think he would have? Well, he would have a West Highland Tanu Terrier. Uh, the cutest puppy I've ever seen was a West Highland Terrier. <laughs> they're... they're, they're uh, they're white Scotties, is what they are. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're All right. Nice. Now I'm going to have to go shopping. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how do you think that Adam Smith would handle quarantine? You think he'd do all right? Uh, well, he would go read. <laughs> he wouldn't have any trouble with the quarantine. And I don't have too much for trouble with it for sort of the same reason. I mean, I work at home very yeah. easily. I just go and I read and I write. Right. And he would do the same thing. Every once in a while, he'd stop as he would in the middle of the street in Edinburgh and think for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you pursue for pleasure that was once followed from necessity? Well, that's an interesting question. Pursue for pleasure what was followed from necessity. Well, writing. Um, we all learn to write by being forced to do it in high school and, and then in, certainly in college, graduate school. And it was, uh, it's, it's painful, but as you get more skilled at it, you, it, it, it gets more interesting. I just revised a short book and I could do it for hours because it's so much fun to play a little game of style. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam Smith says that one of the times we experience sympathy with other people is yeah. when we share an appreciation for the same piece of literature or work of art or piece mm -hmm. of music. That's very male and, and very understandable and true, I guess. But it is guy stuff. A little yeah. bit. But... But given, given that it may be guy stuff, what should people read or watch uh, or experience in order to sympathize with you? They should experience Mozart. They should experience English poetry, especially. Um, you know, the curfew tolls and now of parting day, the lowing herd went slowly over the lee, et cetera, et cetera. Um, economics, they should appreciate and pursue economics. I love talking about it. You know, I, I, I like, ah, cricket, cricket. Uh -huh. <laughs> they really want to get to me and talk about cricket. <laughs> okay. Keep a straight back. I was going to say that one of the challenges that you have with that question, right, is that so far as I can tell, you're interested in everything. Well, no, much. no, it's not quite that. I'm, I'm, I'm not easily bored. Ah. <laughs> Which okay. is crucial, as you know. For any There's a difference. I'm a scholar. You know, if you're, if... If you get bored easily, it's hopeless. You're never going to be a scholar. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. Um, what does your impartial spectator look like? Well, she's um, uh, she's rather tolerant of Deirdre's weirdness. Um, she's not she's not a fierce critic from the audience, somewhat appreciative. But unlike Donald Trump's 
uh, impartial spectator. She's not partial. And she exists, whereas he doesn't seem to have anything. So Adam Smith warns us that too severe an application to study can bring about uh, lunacy and frenzy, <laughs> yes, <laughs> which is a great line. And we're just wondering at Adam Smith Works whether we should have any concerns about your own health and well-being. Um, how's <laughs> well, your application to study? <laughs> well, as you heard when this, before this interview started, I'm also trying to learn the accordion. So, you know, I, I guess my, my diversions. I, um, I have lots of pots on the stove, so to speak. Mm. You can see the stove right behind me. <laughs> pots on the stove. And when I get bored with one, I turn to the other. So I'm pretty much always enjoying what I'm doing, which I think is um, prevents madness. <laughs> that's, that's a really great answer. That's a really great answer. OK, last question. It's a doozy. If an afterlife exists, what would you like to talk about with Adam Smith when you get a chance to meet him? Well, I'd like to, to talk about his, his influence and his, um, the way that, if you read both books, the way he, an, he anticipates social psychology, anticipates, in fact, he's, he's the last of the virtue ethicists until it was revived by English female analytic philosophers mm -hmm. in the 1950s and 60s. Um, and how great his influence, how, how much more productive, so to speak, both ethically and, and materially, his liberalism, the obvious and simple plan of natural, natural liberty, as he called it, or the the liberal plan of uh, liberty. Let's see what? Uh, how did it go? Um, X and justice. Anyway, he 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 had tremendous influence in the long run, and I hope he has more in future. That's great. Thank you very much. That was the Smith questionnaire. Um, and I hope, uh, I hope it was as much fun for you as it was for us. It was wonderful. Thank you. They're very interesting questions. They, you know, any question that may, makes you think is a good question. That's what we think, too. Um, hopefully, Adam Smith would agree. Um, anyway, thank you very much for, for participating. I'm going to stop our recording now.